I like it how people say I missed a point in this video. I didn't miss the point in the video. The thing is that the stereotype cartoon of a black person never really registered as a black person to me in my mind. I always thought that was an image that other people thought we looked like. Yes. I really thought that people saw us like that. Just like when you're a little bitty kid. Do things used to really be in black and white? Well, these kids have never seen black and white, really. You ever been a little kid and you wonder about the colors of the people's clothing when they drive through? What color is that man's suit he's wearing in that old black and white movie? So when I saw cartoons, I figured that's how they saw black people. Because some of those black and white movies, black people was acting like that. See, the character of black people has been embedded in black people's minds. I have seen black people from other people's images all my entire life. I know how a black person looks. I know how a black person carries themselves. I also know that every black person is identically the same. Here's one thing, Sergeant Willie Peach, you need to be questioning. How in the hell is these brothers getting their hair longer than some of the sisters in the hood? All of a sudden, everybody got dreadlocks to the shoulders. What's going on? What's up with that? What's up with these brothers with the girly haircuts on the dreadlocks and shit? That's cooling me out. I mean, it's like, whoa, this is wild. <laughs> Whatever. Why don't you ask that question? Why are these all these down low brothers? What do they call them? Homo thugs. Why don't you ask that question? Why don't you ask some of those questions, Sergeant Willie P? Because I've never seen a black man with big ass lips. No. Never. Never seen the big old black one with super giant booty. Big old bosoms and shit with the big old lips with the <laughs> Florida Evans hairdo. Never seen that. I've never seen those characters, caricatures of black people in real life. So the cartoon of the image of a black person does not affect me. And what true black beauty is, like the old words are back in the day, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. If you like a flat booty black woman with stringy hair or what have you or whatever, then that's what you like. If you want the big woman, that's what you like. Regardless of whatever color the woman is, whatever size. And I'm not enabling black women at all. If anything, I'm trying to empower blackness. And I'm not trying to say, yeah, black power, rule the world. I'm trying to say empower people. Put a smile on people's face. It's bad enough that life is bad enough it is. <laughs> it's bad enough that life is bad enough as it is that people want to be judgmental. Are we ever going to get rid of the cartoon stereotypes of black images not as long as people keep living up to them. See, when you find out a group of people are not savages, and you've told everybody in the world they're just savages, what do you do? You turn them into savages. It's some of us out here who don't have a lick of sense. But when you get to a certain age, it's like a light bulb clicks in. Ding! All of a sudden, you see things clearly. So, did I miss the point in your video? No, I didn't miss the point in your video. I wanted to see if people saw me make the point in your video. And that just goes to show you how narrow-minded some people are. You figured it out, but other people could. Some people can't figure it out, Sergeant Willie P. And they depend on your perspective to take them to the next level. But it's not just taking your perspective, Willie. 
is adapting your perspective to what someone else's perspective may be. I can see some of that in this. Therefore, I come to this conclusion. Not because of what the Sergeant Willie Pete said, but from the direction in which he told me to look. See, people don't understand the significance of when people make videos. People make videos to speak their perspective, talk from, this is how I feel. This is not how you supposed to feel. You ain't supposed to do what I'm telling you to do. You supposed to say, well, shit, he feel like that. You know, I feel some of that too. I, I'm with you on that one. Or no, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling it. And my people have been known to say, hey, I asked you, didn't lost your mind. But see, when you say things and people are afraid to challenge you because they may think, oh, Willie Pete won't be my friend because I challenged him. It's like, please, man. This person is never your friend at all. That person is never... Those people look up to you, but if they... I ain't trying to say everybody that listen to you is your friend. But if people want to take you literally, they shouldn't. Because you're only speaking from your perspective. So if you can't get over the images that you've seen that you've seen growing up of black people change the images when I first saw the boondocks I'm like damn <whistles> they dropped one on all of us because the first episode I saw of the boondocks was called a nigga moment I think that was one nigga moment and life was like that that was like watching Remember that TV show, South Central? <coughs> they didn't give it a chance because they told too much truth in it. Remember the movie? I mean the whole... Was it South Central a TV show? A little TV show about the little kid in the hood. But, um, I mean... When you show people a broad spectrum of reality, they only pick out what they can decipher. And there's a whole bunch of different entities throughout what your reality is. But if they can only pick out one thing, then they're narrow-minded. Narrow-minded need not apply to the real AIX. And once again, you've been tubed.